Her Majesty the Queen has pulled out of this huge event, so it's left to others to now save it, but can they? Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the heart of London. Thank you for joining me today. Welcome one and all. I keep saying this, but it's wonderful to say it. One and all brand new subscribers. Hope you're enjoying what you're seeing. Do let me know, get involved, let me know what you'd like to see. And also must just point out about a few stories that we've covered recently. And a lot of people are basically saying, oh no, you know, that's not true. You haven't got your facts right, that sort of stuff. Look, a lot of these stories that people ask me to cover are basically tabloid rumor. You know, I can't say anything more than that, you know. The story about the Harlem School with Meghan Markle and uh, asking for donations and stuff, it's simply not backed up, you know. Now, if the school is saying everything was fine and they were happy with the visit, then you can do no more than that. But as I say, a lot of people do like to think that you don't do your research, you know. <laughs> we have a lot of resources at our disposal and we are thorough in our investigations. So as ever, you know, you have to make up your mind. As I say here on the show, we like to make sure that we're fair and balanced. Hence the fourth, we've got a lovely breaking news story for you today. Now, as I'm sure you're all aware, sadly for COP26, that's the climate change event, for want of a better word, up in Glasgow, Scotland at the end of this week, Her Majesty the Queen has, well, sadly had to pull out. I think it's a wise move. I'm not sure about what you think, but goodness, you know, all of those people in one area and a very, well, you know, elderly lady who's recovering from, you know, recent illness, although it be a light cold, you don't want to put yourself in jeopardy, do you? Let's be honest, who would? So very wisely, she's now decided to make a video call and of course send a recorded message. I think that will certainly do the trick, but I know, as Her Majesty herself says, there's nothing like meeting someone eye to eyeball. And when you are, of course, our gracious Majesty the Queen, there is no bigger star. But now it's all been left, of course, to the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and Prince Charles. Now, I think there's star power in, it, in, in themselves, you know, truly I do. Of course, there's nobody bigger than Her Majesty the Queen. But, you know, if you are of that climate change group and you get the opportunity to discuss alongside Prince William, Catherine and Prince Charles alongside Camilla, well, you know, at least you're getting your point across to all of the most important people in the world, if you like. But what I do find quite amusing about this particular event is, and I have to say this with a bit of a giggle, as you know, COP26 were really banking on Her Majesty the Queen, attending none more so than our British Prime Minister behind me here, Boris Johnson, right? But no fear, because they've decided to invite someone else who's going to be speaking this weekend alongside some other activists. I love that word, don't you? I think I'm an activist when I'm demanding a discount in the supermarket. Could just be me though. But yes, we can tell you that Greta, Greta Thunberg is going to be giving a speech. Now we recently saw her enjoying the stock aching Waterman classic by Rick Astley, never going to give you up on stage. So perhaps we could hope for a reprieve. Other than that, I can't imagine what Greta can offer to that particular climate, well, group meeting, whatever you want to call it. But as ever, these people seem to think that an 18 year old girl with no life experience other than tapping on a computer seemingly will have all the answers to the climate crisis moving forward into the next decade as ever you do have to think wouldn't it be nice if her majesty could just make it to save the day neil sean in the heart of london